Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, boy. Hello, Arthur. You good, Abigail? Out there. There he is. Are you ready to be civil now? Mary Beth. Can I talk to you a minute? Not again, Abigail. Not ever. Just leave me alone, will you? You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. Evening. Evening. What a day. So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Uh, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. Como estás? Good evening. Any new leads? I'm working on it. Well, you just let me know. Okay then. Good evening, Arthur. Evening. Thanks for all your efforts. You're very welcome. Bye. 
drunk, sir. I'll never get drunk no more. I'm resolved to try it. I'll stick to a moderate diet. I'll drink good, I'll deny it. And shun the ale I'll store. That's where they tell us it's all the jolly good. I swear that poker and fell Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Oh, Pearson, never quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world, far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. There she is. Good evening, Arthur. You seem a bit happier. Yes, I'm feeling good. Hello? Mary Beth. Hello. Hello. Hey, Charles. I can't eat this. <laughs> oh, oh, Sheriff Arthur, everybody. <laughs> you okay? Spot. It's a shame we never robbed that bank in Valentine, though. Yeah, I guess it is. Mrs. Adler. My lady. Hey there. Hi, Arthur. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? No reason. Just making sure. If you say so.
Anderson said he's short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! <laughs> oh, all right, go on. <laughs> it ain't like you've got balls anyways. <laughs> Oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, <laughs> like that'd be enough. So you told Jose about the moonshine? Yes, he's got some plan cooking. Good morning, Arthur. Morning to you. Here, I picked up this. I heard you talking about losing the one your pa gave you. Well, that is mighty kind. Thank you, Arthur. Don't mention it. Good morning. I'll get on those debts. Good, good. They better be. Yeah. So, tell me, uh, Jacobites are English lovers, Arthur. My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. 
<laughs> Them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? All right, let's do this. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So. What were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him. If I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, What's that box boy is tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. You never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. I don't even know what I'm seeing no more. You and Dutch are deputies. You're out throwing lead with Sadie Adler. All right. That'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Let's leave the horses here and go to rest on foot. Don't want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Hey, 
there. Whoa. I'm gonna give you and your oh. daddy about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, we don't want no trouble. We just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Right here. Oh. It's up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Where you stash your money, and we let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedroom, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You see what else you can find. <laughs> Told you we'd take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Hook this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Anthony, don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Hey, it's over there.
This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just gotta be other places out there like this. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Look. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Why? My animals, they escaped, and now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. And the sooner the better, please. Time to go, boy.
Idiot. There we go. Easy. Let's go, boy. You're back. Go on, have yourself a quick nosy. Save me all the work, fellas. I'll take him off your hands now. Son of a bitch, kill
okay. Easy there. Hey now, what they done to you? him our zebra <laughs> well you can't call him that <laughs> although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler oh dear you're missing the point aren't you it's an illusion a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses confound comprehension hoodwink your audience hoodwink our audiences <laughs> dear boy don't be so dreadfully literal no one will pay for the truth they only pay for deception the allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... As long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. Uh, but, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, I, and in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. Please. I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. <sighs> yep, boy.
Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a fellow could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of him. I got it. These are paw prints. Looks like blood to me. Shit. What's this? Ah, <laughs> oh, darn. I found your dog. Line. Hey, boy! Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took them. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. But your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh, behind that log then. Okay. up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. 
cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey. Keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. This is this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, um, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this wreck? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... Well, you can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Ah. Mister? Yeah. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. These wagons aren't so good off the road. Be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out? Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. See you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, 
I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. What? Hold your side! I am holding it! Hold yours! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat! <laughs> it looked like a lion to me! That's a dog in there! A dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said, step aside. Yeah, boy. Didn't look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. Take care of this. 